Good evening YouTube. How is everyone in the YTPC? Hope all the uh, people are doing well and everything's been going well. No, everything's good. Alex here. Uh, just got home from work a while ago. Actually a few hours ago. Quite a few hours ago. Had some um, Angus beef sausages for dinner. Some eggs. Good shit. I'm just sitting here chilling out, um, chilling out and uh, having a pipe, having a cup of tea on this rainy Melbourne night, it's pissing down rain. Anyway, I thought I'd continue the theme tonight, show some of the stuff I found from work. Tonight will be a weird one, I think, interesting one, something that I'm really interested in. Some stuff I found, I'll, take, show, you, I'll show you guys. Constitution for Victoria. What this is is it's for the Freemasons. Constitutions of the United Grand Lodge of Ancient, Free and Accepted Masons of Victoria. So that's interesting. Little booklet, a little bit crushed, but anyway, it is good. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, this one's a very interesting one. Also a Freemasonry book. Information on Lodge Workings. This is actually interesting. Really good. You know, it tells you like the general information, offices of the Lodge, opening of the Lodge, visitors, how they treat you, how they show you around and all that sort of stuff. Lodge business. Masonic dress and regalia tells you like what you can wear, what you're allowed to wear, when, where, etc. Uh, inspectors of workings, temporary lodge closure, candidates, degree ceremonies. Yeah, it's easily. I mean, this just tells you everything like what they do. You know, like how things should be done according to their rule, to their rules and their um. Uh, what do you, what would you call it? Um, practices, you, you know, they do things a certain way, you know, their um, their rituals, that's the word, rituals. So it's pretty good, good stuff. I read that. And another thing is, this is really good. Gould's History of Freemasonry. Uh, th these weren't all collected at the same time. Um, but uh, anything on Freemasonry, I keep if I find anything. I've, I've got a got an interest in Freemasonry. It's probably an organisation I'll be interested in joining, I guess. Um, seems to be an honourable organisation, um, ancient, and they seem to have good morals. So, yeah, it's something I might look into in the future. Uh, don't know. I don't know if they'd have me, but I'm a bit weird, so I don't know if you guys know anything about Freemasonry, not asking for secrets, you know, I'm well and truly educated in a lot of the ways of the Freemasonry, I know that, um, you know, you take a vow of, se vow of secrecy and, you know, um, so I know better than to ask questions, certain questions, but if anyone's a Freemason, let me know. Is it good or no good? Do you enjoy it or not enjoy it? And what made you become a Freemason? New edition. Freemasons Guide and Compendium. Yes, I say. Another Freemasonry book. This one is um, got a thing in the front. It says uh, 1961 number 11 group Masonic Masters Association presented to someone on the occasion of his last night. Little signatures in there. A lot of people signed it, and they've signed it, and also wrote in here uh, which lodge they're from, because each lodge has its own allocated number. So that's interesting. Um, this one is this is very nice. I actually read a bit in this as well. A lot of nice pictures. You know, um, 
Actually, the other one's wrong. The other one is one with the low, with all the pictures in it. Sorry. Um, this one is 1959 edition. Dedicated in affection to my mother lodge, the pen and brush number two nine zero nine. Anyway, interesting. I like that. <clears throat> Another interesting one is a big, big holy bible with a Freemason emblem. Uh, no, this is actually a very good book. Um, not, not because of the bible part. No disrespect, man. Um, there's plenty of bibles about the joint. It's just that the whole front section of it is dedicated to um, like biblical biblical index to Freemasonry. Um, questions and answers about Freemasonry, order order of the Eastern Star, information on that, ancient and accepted Scottish Rite Masonry, the internal workings of Freemasonry. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, you know, look at that. Isn't that nice? So that's that's one. That's the other one. And now, pardon me. Final item is in a bag. Now, I got excited when I saw this. Uh, like I said, I've got, a, I've got a, an interest in Freemasonry. And I thought, I saw this at a distance. One of the other guys found it uh, probably almost a year ago. There's a receipt in here from 1964 or 69, it's hard to tell. So either four or nine. This costed $58.45 that's a lot of money in Australia back then jeez that's a lot of money that's big dollars now this this last item where's my tamper this last group of items in the case is not Freemasonry it's uh, what they call the Order of the Bull, the R-O-A-B or whatever it is. There's been a lot of, lot of organisations. That existed and still exist, very similar to Freemasonry. And um, a, lot of, a lot of their, you know, um, ways are good, I guess. And this case contains two lovely cufflinks you know, they're on the on the arm. Anyway, two of them contains a sash. My apologies, upside down. Lovely sash with that on there. And, uh, metallic things down the bottom. I don't know what you call them. Um, it's got two two aprons in it. You know, I don't know if you guys know, but Freemasons wear aprons. Symbolise like a because they're speculative masons and operative masons were actual Freemasons, you know, stone masons, etc. So, you know, very similar. It's got the bull on there. <coughs> Excuse me. The clasps are nice. Look at this. Like the snake. Oh, sorry. Very shoes. So that's that's one apron. The second apron is here as well. Very nice, very elaborate, you know. I don't know much, too much about these. Pretty good condition. Smell old. <laughs> so, yeah, if anyone knows anything about this organisation or know much about it or been involved in it, drop me a line. I'm just curious. I'm not asking for any any secrets or you know anything I shouldn't know because I'm not a member. But, uh, yeah, very interesting. If anyone's a member, like I said, let me know. Tell me what you think of this stuff and what do you know about it. I'd, I'd be very grateful. Uh,
got a few few new subscribers, which is excellent. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. I don't know if anyone watches Game of Thrones, but just watch the season finale. Good stuff. You know, just plodding along. Pretty late here at the moment. It's almost 2 a.m. And I uh, thought I'll make a video tonight. Um, I was going to make this one yesterday, and we got busy cleaning up and doing chores around the house. Oops. So I'm making my little Peterson with some Orlick, as per normal. And um, yeah, all the best, guys. Take care. And anyone who hasn't entered. Um, I'm tired, man. Jeez, what's his name again? Anyone hasn't entered, um, fuck, what's his name? I'm tired. I'm really tired. It's a hard day today. The Smoking Roosters competition. Please enter it. He's, he's, he's a good guy. Really nice. Um, so yeah. Look him up. The Smoking Rooster. Subscribe to him. Enter his competition for his 357 subscribers subscription and uh, anyway I'll catch up with you I'm not gonna leave this tip going too long good night guys take care all the best